what's going on my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial. With just days remaining in 2022, Social Security retirees will soon receive the largest increase to their monthly benefit checks in more than 40 years. However, you may not yet know that this increase also comes with two bonuses. In this video, we're going to talk about Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits, and the latest information regarding the 2023 cost of living adjustment, as well as what other programs and benefits we can look forward to as we transition into the new year. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons. And let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest Social Security, SSI, and disability benefits information. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. The Social Security Administration implements a cost of living adjustment in most years to compensate for inflation, with the goal of maintaining the purchasing power of retirees' benefits as prices rise. Due to 2022's unusually high inflation, the Social Security Administration in October announced that the 2023 COLA would be 8.7%. But that benefit bump isn't the only positive change coming for retirees next year. Here are two additional bonuses for beneficiaries that I think you'll enjoy. Number one is lower Medicare premiums. Medicare is the federal health insurance program for people over the age of 65, so it's very relevant right around the time most retirees are claiming Social Security benefits. In addition, with the Social Security Administration in charge of Medicare enrollment, Medicare Part B premiums are also deducted from Social Security checks. Medicare Part B covers an array of necessary medical services like ambulance services and medical equipment as well as some preventative care items such as flu shots and various tests to diagnose other medical issues. In 2022, Medicare Part B premiums shot up by close to 15%, with the baseline monthly premium rising from $148.50 to $170.10. This was due in part to the expectation that the program would be adding coverage of several extremely expensive new drugs among them the Alzheimer's treatment Aduhelm. That was expected to lead to a big increase in the Medicare program's total outlays. By law, Medicare Part B premiums each year are supposed to cover 25% of the program's total estimated costs. But in September, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services reported that its spending came in lower than expected in 2022 which resulted in a larger than expected reserve in the Medicare Part B trust fund. As a result, the government will cut Medicare Part B monthly premiums by roughly 3% in 2023, with the baseline premium declining from $170.10 to $164.90. The program's deductibles will also go down. That may not sound like a lot of money, but every little bit helps. And because those premiums are deducted directly from retirees' Social Security checks, this will increase people's monthly benefits even more. And last but certainly not least, we have bonus number two. And this is one that I think all Americans universally across the country will appreciate. Cooling inflation. COLA adjustments were built into the Social Security program to counter the impact of inflation and 2023's large increase will help retirees make up for the purchasing power their checks lost this year. However, those annual boosts have not quite kept up with the real inflation seniors face, and over time, individual years' small lags add up. A study released by the nonpartisan Senior Citizens League earlier this year found that despite the COLA increases, Social Security benefits have lost 40% of their buying power since 2000. Meanwhile, ongoing high inflation continues to jack up costs everywhere, from the grocery store to the gas pump, putting a real dent in retirees' finances. Even with the benefit hike that's coming in January, the longer inflation runs hot, the more retirees will struggle. But there are signs that U.S. inflation is cooling. 
Since inflation, as measured by the Consumer Price Index, peaked at 9.1% year-over-year in June, it has steadily been declining. In October, the CPI was only up 7.7% year-over-year, and only rose 0.4% from September. And when November's inflation report came out last week, it showed that prices only rose 0.1% from October, with the CPI up from 7.1% year-over-year. That trend in the CPI is good news. And when you consider the more recent interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve have yet to fully work their way through the economy, it seems likely that inflation will continue to cool into 2023. So next year, retirees will get higher monthly benefit checks, but should see prices rising at increasingly slower rates. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information you might have about your own social security benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you